If you want to generate more power on your serve, it's very important that you have a deep racket drop. That racket's got to get all the way down your back to give yourself enough space between the racket and the ball to generate that power. I'm going to show you how David was able to improve his serve by improving his racket drop and how we were able to do this. So as you can see with this serve right here, it's a bit of a shallow racket drop. I like the rhythm. It's a nice fluid coordinated motion, but there's not much racket drop. But by using a ball tube, like you see him doing here, it allows him to get that feeling of something dropping down his back. Now the weight of the ball tube allows him to feel the drop. It guides you in the right direction. There's some exercises out there where you put some tennis balls in a sock and you swing it about but you're swinging the sock and the balls around your body. With this ball tube, because it's a little bit heavy and cumbersome, it wants to drop down your back and it guides you in the right direction. So by having him doing some shadow swings with this tube, you can see how it's falling down his back naturally and he gets that feeling of it dropping. So then when he gets the racket in his hand, he can do a couple of shadow swings and just kind of feel that same sensation he had when he was using the tube. Now I've done some videos on this before. I'll leave a link, you probably can see it up here. Check out that video. I was swinging, first of all, an ax around my body, not advised, but it's a video that's gonna help you to get the perfect coordination chain by swinging things around your body, like a ball tube, like an ax, not recommended, but it guides you in the right direction so that you can develop a smooth coordinated motion and in this case, get a better racket drop. Now, one thing that David did better than most players I work with is he really focused on executing that racket drop while trying to serve, while throwing the ball up and trying to hit it. He prioritized the racket drop over everything else. Now, what tends to happen with people is naturally they throw it up, they get very distracted by the tennis ball and the desire to put the ball in the court that they lose everything they're trying to develop. Because he was so disciplined, focusing on his racket drop and his motion and sacrificing a little bit of control of the tennis ball, he mastered it pretty quick. And once he got comfortable with the racket drop, then he could start to focus more of his attention on striking that ball clean and controlling it. And as you can see, within a few minutes, he was really executing a far better serve. Great serve. Yeah. Well, that's what you wanted, right? You said, I want power on my money back, and I've, I've, give you, I've given you some power. And you agreed. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit like, comment, and subscribe. It's going to help to grow my channel. I need all the help I can get. And check out this video that I mentioned earlier. It's going to help you to develop your serve coordination chain. Thanks for watching.